Hello and welcome back to Monster Hunter Generations, where today we're going to be doing another HR6 key quest. So without further ado, let's go pick it. So we have to do this one right here, and so we're going to do it. Already got my food and my items all set up, so we're just going. Okay, that's right. This is high rank. We just happened to start in the base camp. It's always weird fighting Astalos here. Of course, I'm not upset that he can be here. It's just weird seeing him here. He certainly doesn't match the coloration of any of the areas, unlike the Verdant Hills where he fits in pretty well. And he also fits in pretty well in the Jurassic Frontier. But here, not so much. So I think he starts over in here. At first I was thinking he started where we are now, but the Aptonoth not freaking out kind of proved that wrong. Okay, I guess I just don't know where he starts. Dragon's here? Nope. Okay, my next guess is over this way. Maybe all the way up in the nest, but I doubt that. No? Guess we're checking the nest. Hmm. Well, if he did start here, he's not here anymore. So, let's real quickly just go pop our heads in here. Don't expect he'll be in here, but it's worth a check. Oh, there he is. Let's get down to his level. Pretty good opening right there. Yeah, that wasn't even remotely close to hitting anything. Especially not anything of value. Thanks, Conchu. At least you kept me from getting slapped. Alright, let's focus on getting ourselves some meter and then if we end up dodging something we end up dodging something but the focus is meter because meter is good and strong oh please let me get that face okay I didn't but whatever maybe now nope This poor guy got dropped by the... Oh, no. <laughs> got dropped by the aftercuts, and then we just completely wasted that opening. Where's the sparkly? Is it under the conch? Or did the sparkly end up being down there? Oh, no. It is under the conch. Conch. There's an N. You gotta pronounce it. I do not want to get just completely slapped while going for said Sparkly, so now's a good time. Oh, Dang, that missed. Scale plus, those are always nice. Uh-oh. 
dodged way too early. Whatever. Let's try and discharge something. The wings, of course, being the obvious choice because of that. And then we can try and get the tail. Okay, you don't want me to do more stuff. I get it. Oh, don't see that move very often. Thank goodness for being invulnerable while standing up. Ooh. Got a nice tail hit there. Oh, the wings are charged again. Someone wants me to knock him over. Did not dodge in time. Let's get back up there. And the reason we fight in this particular area instead of down below or up above is that when you're on this tier, there's this little hump which can help you evade some projectiles or other moves and sometimes can give you a boost so that your sword can reach things you otherwise can't. And looks like he is going all the way up to the nest, which is unfortunate because there's no quick way to get there from here. I mean, sure, it's one load screen, but it's a bit of a climb. We could cut out the climb by adding a few load screens and some runs, but unfortunately it doesn't end up being faster. So really, there's just... Unless we fought him way up here, there would have been no fast way to get up. Let's go ahead and sharpen before we get in there, even though we're losing meter. Why did I bring a shock trap and not a pit? Maybe I was thinking of using it to get the tail. That would make some sense, wouldn't it? Well, got the wings. Broke the face. Let's see if we can't get a ride. Because breaking his back is a thing that is doable and a good idea, just for the part. Of course, it takes more to get rides now, because we're in high rank. Or maybe not. Still just four hits. Maybe it was five. Might have hit him while jumping down from somewhere before. Don't think I did, though. And there he goes. Now we could go for his face in an attempt to discharge it, but... Okay, that was a waste. Stay put, stay put, stay put, stay put, stay put. You jerk. I was really hoping I'd be able to just nail his face, but I didn't even nail any of them. I feel like this little ridge here should be a ledge, and it is apparently, just one way. Well, I nailed, I think, a wing there? Yeah, definitely a one-way ledge. Unlike the uh, lips of the nest, which can be jumped from either side. And there goes a wing. Both the break and the charge. And 
There goes the other wing? No, that might have been the back. There goes the other wing. And that is full brakes. All right, buddy. Oh, hi. No, 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 no. Okay. Was worried I'd be knocked over the edge. Oh, got God again. Once again, thank goodness for being invulnerable while standing up. And he is leaving. So where did that tail go? There it is. So it looks like, yeah, he's going down this way. Two load screens, though. That's fine. We can keep up. Yum. All right. Let's get meter. Of course, that requires us to actually hit, but whatever. Really? No hits? Yeah, you're not getting me with your stun gun this time, buddy. going now. You've been doing remarkably well against this Astalos. Oh, you're going to Ledge Town, eh? We can fight you there. It's nothing we haven't done before. Yeah, let's let him up here. Why not? There's less room but if he does decide to leave before he dies, that, whoa. I always forget that can happen. He's tired. We'll work on getting meter and then we'll use our Sakura Slash to fill our gauge. Or we'll do it at basically the worst possible timing. That's fine, too. Almost, Astalos. You almost went into it. Come on. Oh, boy. I wish I had my red gauge. But whatever, we're getting good hits in, we're doing good damage. And... I mean, he'll probably go down soon. He's staying in there a long time. Just thought to use that trick right before he got out. And boy, did it pay off. All right, we need sharpness. Yellow just isn't going to cut it. That's not sharp enough. Pun not actually intended, but it works. Yeah, I should have dodged that. Ooh, are you limping? Pretty sure he goes up to the nest to sleep. So I probably shouldn't have jumped down. 
But whatever. Ooh, he's not painted anymore. Oh, he went that way. I think. I hope. Yep. Okay. Um, buddy? Okay. Die, please. Really? Hi. Die, please. There we go. Oh yeah, dodged his death bite. And got our gauge up from it. Scales, three scales. Yep, that's some scales, all right. That's fine. We're gonna need probably most of those in order to upgrade his weapon. Oh yay, Dragonite! I do need, like, a bunch of Dragonite, so I am not upset at all when I mine some. Guess we just don't get to know what that last bit of ore was. Because we didn't actually gather it. We just whacked the rock and then left it on the ground. Alrighty, not so much Astalos loot here in these rewards. Okay. Well, that is going to be it for... Wait, what? What's going on? Oh, neat. Okay. Uh-huh. No, I, I want official. Okay. Sure. Yep. Okay. Well, let's just see what they are. Okay, we've got Gypsaros, Ketcha, Tetsukabra, Ludroth, Kutku, and Kezu. Neat. Okay, now that's going to be it for this episode. Join us next time. When we do another of our three remaining key quests. See you then, friends.